Hey guys, welcome to 7.8, where we'll be using exponential and logarithmic functions to solve some word problems. Um, this is, this section itself is a little bit obnoxious because it gives us like 15 different formulas, even though they're all the exact same thing. Basically, these two up here, these are what you want to write down. That f of x equals a times base e to the k times t or the exact same equation, but with a negative k. One representing growth, that's if k is positive, and one representing decay, that would be if k is a negative number. This is, if you remember when we talked about compound interest, um, these are going to be when you have something that is compounding, but it's compounding continuously. It's not compounding every day or every week or every month. It just is like always compounding. Every time you add a penny to that account, it's immediately added and you make interest off that penny. So that's what compounded interest, or I'm sorry, what compounded, this continual compounding is. Um, the first one I want to do is where we do compound interest based on money. So this was the last example from 7-7. Seven, seven. And again, this is where I say it's really obnoxious, this chapter, because they give you the same formula over and over again. They just change the variables. If you notice, this is the exact same thing. Um, it's just that instead of having, or they use a, yeah, instead of using A for initial amount, they use P for the principal amount invested in the account. And then instead of using K for the rate of change, they use R for the rate of the annual interest rate. Otherwise, it's the exact same thing. So I plug into there. Um, we have $3,000 deposited into an account. So I'm just going to write that with the pen. And then E, of course, is like the base E, the natural base that we learned yesterday. So I'm just going to put an E there. Raised to the rate. The rate does need to be a decimal. So it just means I'm going to move this one, two spots. So raised to the 0 0.04 times um, T, which is the time in years. And it's kind of tricky. They don't tell us until down here that they want 10 years. So I need to multiply that by 10. Great. And then you're good to plug that into a calculator. Um, you get to use the E to the X key on your calculator. If you're using um, just the little TI-30X, then the button is in light blue behind the natural log key. So it's the second key down on the right-hand side. So what I'm typing in is 3,000 second e to the x, and then I'm just doing my 0 0.04 times 10, and then I close the parentheses. Since this is money, I'm going to round to the nearest um, uh, penny. So it's $4,475. And let's see, it looks like it just stays, it rounds down, so it would be 0.47. That's all you do for these. Now they do get more complicated. Let's go to um, back to seven, eight here. Actually, let's skip these for a second. Um, more ways that you can use these continuous compounding. Um, here again, they pull in the interest rate. We just did that problem. Or population growth. It's not like every you know, three months we worry about the population growing. Like the population's always growing, so that would be a um, continuous growth function, um, and bacteria growth, things like that.